Hi friends, welcome to the Chickadee Knitting Club. Today, we have two topics in one video. First, rules and expectations for knitting, and second, how to hold your needles. Let's get right into it. All right, let's talk about the rules of knitting. First things first, your needles are tools, not toys. Say that to yourself once or twice. These are tools, not toys. That means you have to take really good care of them and not mess around with them, no matter how fun it might be. They are not swords, drumsticks, magic wands, or anything else. The only thing they are, are knitting needles. And you have to take really good care of them. You don't want to run with them because you might accidentally poke someone in yourself. You don't want to bang them against anything because you might break them. You want to respect your knitting needles. And if you take good care of them, they'll take good care of you. So a reminder on those rules, these are tools, not toys. Don't run with them, play with them, or anything other than use them for knitting. Now, let's talk about how to hold your needles. When you're knitting, you want to hold your needles something like this. Let me show you how I did it. First, take your needles and hold them in your fist, like this. And then, you're going to want to take your pointer finger and your thumb and pinch them together. I like to call these my crab pinchers but you can call them a baby bird beak or anything else you want. Remember, your crab pinchers. What you're gonna do next is soften up your fist and pinch the top of your needles with your crab pinchers, just like this. You're gonna to wanna to be able to scoot up and down and back up the needle with ease and comfort. You're also gonna to wanna to hold your needle towards the tip. I know a lot of beginners who like to hold their needles at the very end, but it's gonna be okay. And it's always best to hold your needles right next to the top. Let me show you why. Think of it this way. When you're tying your shoes or learning how to tie your shoes, you have much more control and it's a whole lot easier when you hold the laces close to the shoe, like that. You start having less and less control the further away from the shoe you hold the laces. In this way, it's a whole lot easier and better to hold your needle as close to the tip and your knitting as possible. And there you have it, how to hold your needles. If you're not really comfortable with this kind of grip before you start, practice a few times. Maybe write your name holding your needles like this. Let go and try over and over again until you think you've got it down and you're comfortable holding your needles like this. And with that, I am confident that you are ready to learn how to knit. Thank you for watching. Today's question is, what do you like to call this little motion? A little bird beak, some crab pinchers, or something else? Let me know in the comments below if you'd like. Stay tuned for next week where we will be starting the first step of knitting, casting on. See you soon.